Doncare has been helping the community of Manningham since 1969. Since then we've added a number of different programs. It's grown as has Manningham grown. Although Manningham is a largely affluent area, there are pockets of disadvantage. We're very fortunate in having a very caring community who have provided and continue to provide lots of donations so that we can be that assistance centre. The Social Support for Seniors program is a program whereby we have volunteers who will pick up seniors from their own homes, take them out for lunch, they might go out to an afternoon coffee group, they might, might go to a fixed base group which is Karama and uh, they have a lot of fun and friendship. I enjoy the friendships I've had over eight years. I like the games, I like the um, craft and I love bingo. A lot of our clients are over 85. They may live in a beautiful house in the, in the green leafy suburbs but it becomes a prison if they can't get out. Oh, it's important to me, it's a day out from the house. We all mix together, like it's just like one big family. So I'm Jen McMahon and I'm the manager of the op shop program for Doncare. Uh, we have seven op shops. Uh, they raise 43 to 48% of the funding that is required for our programs at Doncare. So we have about 320 volunteers in the op shop program um, and lots of people volunteer for different reasons. When I joined Jackson Court I found there were some wonderful staff people to really enjoy uh, the time with. Uh, we see regular customers, there's one here today. She used to teach my son at Circle Primary, Dawn, and um, we, we recognise people that come in here regularly and it, it's a good feeling that they keep wanting to come back. A Bendigo Bank donated a truck for the use of picking up furniture, furniture donations and also delivering furniture to our customers who've purchased from our shops and we wouldn't really be able to have furniture at all without the support of Bendigo Bank uh, truck so it's been fantastic to have them on board. Well, my name's Ian Clark and I manage Information and Crisis Support Intake Team. And I'm Janice Scotts and I'm the team leader in the Information and Crisis Support Team. Uh, administers a whole range of emergency relief to clients who present in crisis. Now that can be anything from fuel bills to food to, um, to school costs. There's two main types of school costs. One is uh, back to school. On a more ongoing basis, there's the uh, Student Wellbeing Joining In program. Uh, we've helped nearly 130 families in the last financial year and that is to access um, things like going to camp, um, excursions, um, school costs, um, extracurricular activities, um, all sorts of uh, wonderful things that uh, have been, been able to be provided directly uh, to those children. Hi, I'm Nitika, I'm the Director of Clinical Services at Doncare. We have a broad range of programs that really assist people in need. We have a counselling program that's quite comprehensive and caters for adults and for children and youth. So out of that um, counselling field, which is where we really started, it became apparent that there was a need for domestic violence services, and particularly in this area. So our programs go from prevention to postvention, so they actually support people even after they've left a situation. If someone's at risk and they're really um, having a hard time, we have the specialist counselling and intake that can really assess that risk and, and refer as appropriate and put in, pull in other services if they're needed. We also have a DAWN program. So this is for women who have left a domestic violence situation and so they are no longer with the partner. And often because of that experience, they can be quite isolated. So we have a, a mentoring program where we train and support men volunteers who um, are able to be a mentor for women in that situation. I can see and the DAWN program really provides an opportunity for women to have a supportive ear, a friend who is there solely for you and not for any other person but to be your support, your friend in a completely non-judgmental way. 
Having had women come to Doncare over a number of years saying, I wish I had have known, um, a program was started called I Matter, which is about prevention. So it's about saying, okay, what could we do to prevent these situations from arising? We train 18 to 26 year olds to be leaders. So those leaders then go and, and work with younger people, so high school age students, and um, young people in sporting clubs or in community groups, and share those skills with them. I think iMatter is amazing. Um, I think what it does to you know students in schools, teaching them about consent and healthy relationships, boundaries, um, social media, like all of these issues are so relevant to young people. They don't know how to start having these conversations with their friends or their family. You know, when iMatter comes in and we open that discussion, we start that dialogue. You know, we are starting these students on a journey that they'll go through the rest of their lives. We are very, very grateful to all of the sporting clubs, to the churches, the schools, kindergartens, and the individual Manningham residents. For some people it's their time they give through volunteering, for other people and it's, it's some non-perishable goods that we can give out to families that are in need and also Bendigo Bank. Without Bendigo Bank we wouldn't have the Winter Warmth Program to help seniors with their winter electricity and gas bills and we wouldn't have cars, we wouldn't have the truck for the um, op shops. Without Silverstone, we wouldn't have an amazing Volvo to drive people to appointments and to the seniors to, to groups. We are the connector. You may be sitting at home thinking, I feel sorry for the family, but I don't know what, what the family is or where the family is. Well, we know that family. We know where they are. That family comes to us and we can pass your generosity onto that family.